And we're live. <laughs> Action. My name is Tyra Newkirk, and today I'll be demonstrating on how to check your blood pressure manually. It is important and rather beneficial to know how to check someone's blood pressure manually. Blood pressure, sometimes often referred to as arterial blood pressure, is the pressure exerted by circulating blood upon the walls of blood vessels and is one of the principal vital signs, one of the first things that is checked when you go to any doctor's office. People often wonder what the top number and the bottom number of the blood pressure mean. The top number is the systolic number, and the bottom number is the diastolic number. Knowing what both of these mean is important and could possibly save your life. When your heart beats, it contracts and pushes blood through the arterials and the rest of your body. The force creates pressure in the arteries. This is called the systolic blood pressure. A normal systolic blood pressure is 120 or below. The pressure that indicates in the arteries when the heart beats or when heart rests in between beats is a diastolic pressure. A normal diastolic pressure is 80 or below. To check someone's blood pressure manually, you will need two items. You will need a blood pressure cuff, which is called a sphygmometer, and a stethoscope. At this time, I will demonstrate on how to check someone's blood pressure manually. And this will be my patient. When a patient first comes in, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that they're rested and comfortable. Because a lot of times when you go to the doctor's office, your, your blood pressure will normally be high just because of the anxiety. So once your patient is in their seat, you will put the blood pressure cuff on the right arm. And this thing right here, the <laughs> dial right here, you close this, you turn it to the right to close the valve. You want to pump it up in between 160 to 180. If somebody has high blood pressure, then you will try to get it in between 180 to 200 because normally their systolic number is 180 to 200 in between there. A good blood pressure, they say, is 120 over 80. You will then put your stethoscope on and put this in the crease of the arm. And you will pump it up in between 160 to 180. While you're pumping, a lot of times it can be noisy in the doctor's offices, so you can see this dial jumping. You then release the valve, and the first number that it jumps on in the first heartbeat you hear is the systolic number. The last number you hear, or the last number you see in the last heartbeat you hear is the diastolic number. Blood pressure is usually read and given back to the patient with the systolic number over the diastolic number. In this case, her blood pressure was 124 over 86, which is good. When somebody has high blood pressure, a lot of times their blood pressure is 140 over 90, or it could be anywhere any higher. The closer the two numbers are, the more dangerous it is. Does anybody have any questions? How often should I check my blood pressure? It's good to check your blood pressure at least once a day. You don't want to do any more than that. It won't. You won't get an accurate reading. Does age have a difference on what your blood pressure? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, a young person, a lot of times their blood pressure can be 110 over 70. In between 110 and 120 is a normal good blood pressure over 70 to 80. If you're older, your blood pressure needs to be between 120 and 180. Anything higher, they call prehypertensive. Which okay. means what? Which means you're borderline hyper, having hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and you'll need to be on medication. Do they have different size cuffs, or are they pretty much adjustable? Yes, the standard size is the adult large. They do have a extra large. Um, a lot of times for your larger patients, they will use thigh cuffs if they don't have an extra large cuff in the office. Did you check my blood pressure? Yeah, I don't know. But now that you have seen how to manually check your blood pressure, it should be good to be able to check any patient 
or any family member or anybody that needs their blood pressure taken. Mm -hmm. Yes. How much do those things cost? You can get them at your local drugstore. They're usually between a, a cheaper ones, fifteen dollars to twenty dollars, and more expensive one you're looking at thirty to forty. What's the difference? In a stethoscope, you can get at your local drugstore or medical store as well. But the more expensive ones bling down. Yeah. How accurate are the digital? They're to me, they're more accurate than having it read through a machine. This. The one you got there, yes. more accurate. More accurate. Than the digital. Than the digital. Okay. Mm How -hmm. come VA uses digital all the time? It's just better to check it uh, manually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cheaper. Cheaper, okay. <laughs> and, do what? question. <laughs> um, a lot of times it's important to. Did you have a question? Oh, I'll Are you wanting to keep? You're already at six minutes. Okay. Nobody has any more questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you.